Perfect. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in for uh, this new member orientation opportunity. My name is Jeremy Holston. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm the director of the LGBT Chamber of Commerce of Illinois. Today, this session is here to just give you a quick opportunity uh, to learn more about chamber member uh, benefits and resources and how to better engage them. Before I dive into the presentation, I do want to show you uh, the website and um, two quick links. As a reminder, you can find the chamber website at lgbtcc.com. When you're on the website page, you'll see some different uh, heading links that will take you to different pages. Um, for those of you who are watching and may not remember how to log into your membership account, um, you can click on the membership tab. It'll take you to this page. Then here you will see a button that says member login. Then you're putting your username and your password. Um, if you cannot remember your unique username or password, then you will just click here um, and then it will um, help you go through a series of questions to um, reset that information. And then if you visit the directory page, um, this is where you can go to find your business profile and listing. Um, so I encourage everyone as you're watching and participating in the session to visit uh, the directory look for your business name and to find out what your profile currently says. So now I'm excited to dive into our full uh, document. And this document, once you are logged into your account, you will be logged into uh, the member uh, portal. Um, while you're there, there are a number of tabs that say resources. Uh, well, there are a number of tabs. One of those tabs says resources. If you click on resources, it will take you to this document and you will be able to access this training directly. So um, very quickly, as I already mentioned, my name is Jeremy. Um, you can reach me here at this email address, jholston at lgbtcc.com. Um, then you can also reach Ali Eck. Allie is our administrative assistant, and you can reach her at admin at lgbtcc.com. Allie will be the point person in answering your questions around directory profiles, engaging with the website, uh, renewing your membership. Um, and so feel free to reach out to either of, either of us when you have questions. So as I mentioned, once you uh, are logged in, um, it will take you to the member information center. And in the Member Information Center, you can access your account. And from there, it allows you to update your profile, add events, add jobs, add any deals, and to pay any invoices or outstanding bills that you might have. So um, as I just showed you, um, to access the Information Center, you go to the Member page, um, and then you log in um, at the portal. If you have any challenges, um, you can always email Allie at admin at lgbtcc.com and she can assist you in um, getting logged into your account. And the, if you um, can't recall the password or username, it is likely the same one that you use when creating your application. So this is likely your business account, um, email address, or a personal email address that you use uh, pretty often. This um, page just shows you what the Member Information Center looks like. Um, here you can see a tab for events. You can see the tab for resources, which is where you can access this document. You can also see the directory, which is how you uh, can see other member profiles in uh, the directory. Um, you can see how to update your company information post those deals and also post any jobs as well. So one of the good things about uh, being a chamber member is that you have the opportunity to use us as an additional marketing arm for your business. Um, we have the opportunity to promote our members through our newsletter um, and our social media and um, various campaigns that we do throughout the year. 
Today, our chamber has more than 300 members um, with a mix of small LGBTQ and ally owned businesses, as well as about 35 to 40 corporate partners. Those corporate partners, we assist them with accessing employee engagement opportunities, as well as accessing uh, supplier diversity programs. So that means they are often always looking for LGBTQ businesses to provide them with great resources and opportunities to better um, support their employees in the workplace and, and in our local community. Um, so we are a great arm in helping you connect with those partners, connecting to the people who are within our networks and um, who follow our programs. So our newsletter has probably, I think about 3000 uh, subscribers. Um, in addition to those folks who I mentioned, um, within our membership network. And so when you add events to the website, um, members are able to see those events. Then we also add events to our newsletter and then we promote um, our events link on our social media pages as well. And so you can um, log into, you can create an event by um, being logged into the Member Information Center, clicking on the events tab, but then simple as you see, there is a button that says add event. And so then you'll just click add events, you'll follow the prompts, um, adding any uh, description information, um, you can add any um, supporting graphics to go with it. And then all member updates go out in the second week uh, newsletter. Um, so we send out one newsletter per week. The second week is when we send out all member related updates um, as it relates to job deals and events. And so um, be sure to make sure that you have those posted um, in a timely way so that we can promote those in the newsletter as well. Um, in the, another opportunity I mentioned and we think about using us as a marketing arm is the opportunity to leverage the directory profile. Um, if you go to the directory, and we'll just quickly go to it, uh, it will give you the opportunity to view businesses by category. And so people can search for different services and products um, based on who they're looking to get connected with. And so this page is so important. It's like a phone book, basically. Uh, the more information um, that is there, the more likely it is that people will be able to contact you and will be able to get immediately to um, talking to you about work because they will already know more about your products or resources and your services. Um, and so um, one, I encourage everyone to go to the, the directory to visit, to find out what their page says then to make sure that you are in the correct uh, categories that you think um, fit for your business. And so this page here shows you what a um, complete profile can look like. Um, here with Olin, um, I'll just go back to it because it's such a good page. Um, Olin is with um, App Properties, a real estate company. And he's also one of our uh, board members. And so uh, here on Olin's page, you can see that he has a description. So it lets you know um, who he is, um, as well as what he does. Um, you can also see some of the highlights. And so um, sort of like keywords um, or key services and products you can list here. Media gives you the opportunity to list any photos or video. Um, so if you have any great products of your services, of your products, or a good commercial video that you use for marketing, you can also use that here. Um, you can list links to your social media, to your website, phone numbers, your website. There's a request info page uh, button here. And so as soon as someone clicks there, it'll take them to um, a form they will fill out that will go to uh, the person that you have listed um, on your uh, profile. And so definitely be sure to take advantage of this page. Um, again, the better you have it filled out, the better and easier it is for people to contact you um, when they know about the products and services that you have available.
Another great tool um, as a member is being able to access the LGBT Business Enterprise Certification. So this is a great tool for those businesses that are 51% or more LGBTQ owned, managed and controlled. Um, with this certification, you are able to um, one, stand out as an LGBTQ owned business. So if it's important for you to engage with LGBTQ clients, um, it's important to be known as a reputable LGBTQ owned business, um, this certification is a great tool for that. It's also a great tool if you are looking to build relationships with corporate uh, clients or to build other relationships with other small businesses who are looking to engage diverse owned businesses specifically uh, for um, opportunities. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the important thing to remember for certification is that you must still be a great business that provides quality uh, services, great pot price. You must have all the right infrastructure in place in terms of insurance, uh, licensing, LLC, all of those things. You must be a highly competitive business. The certification is an additional tool that allows you to stand out from your competition. And so having it is a great advantage. And so um, for any business, um, we always encourage it, especially if you're LGBTQ owned, for the sake of making sure that our LGBTQ voice is heard, um, but then also for sure for those who want to access opportunities with corporate clients. There are similar opportunities for those folks who um, have minority owned, um, so that could be identified as Black, Hispanic, Asian American, I believe, um, 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 uh, National American um, as well. Um, there's also veteran and disabled uh, community certifications as well. Um, so there are different organizations that you can reach out to for those. So there is the Chicago Minority Supplier Development Council for minority uh, certifications. Um, as well as the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, um, they can both assist with that minority-owned certification. There's also the uh, an organization called uh, Disability In for disabled-owned. There's Novoba for veteran-owned. There is the Women's Business Development Center for women-owned. Um, so all of these can be found online, and you can also reach out to us um, if you need assistance. The requirements are ultimately the same. Um, the business must be owned, managed, and controlled um, by the majority of that uh, demographic of certification that you're going after. Headquartered in the United States, formed as a legal business, and independent from a non-LGBT business enterprise. So for example, Olin's company, who we just looked at, um, Olin is a realtor with a uh, global real estate company called App Properties. And so while he owns his own book, own book of business and he manages his own employees based on their contracting and infrastructure, um, it is not deemed as him being independent from a non-LGBT business enterprise. So depending on how your structure and, con and, and business model is set up, that may be something that we have to investigate about to see if you are eligible. It's also important to remember that as a member of the chamber, um, you do not have to pay the certification or renewal cost um, for LGBT business enterprise certification. Um, so once you're going through the process, they'll ask you for a receipt of membership. So just reach out to us if you don't have it and we'll provide it to you at that time. You can also, once you're certified, you will access resources from NGLCC. Um, they are the body that actually issues and manages the certification. Every year they host a national conference where uh, certified LGBT businesses uh, come together from across the globe. At that conference, there are also corporate companies who are looking to buy and engage LGBT certified businesses in their supplier diversity programs. So it's an incredible networking opportunity to um, learn. There's workshops throughout um, the few days. Um, there's incredible networking through um, receptions, 
Um, there's also pitch competitions, um, there's matchmaking opportunities. Um, so definitely encourage you to consider making that an annual um, opportunity to invest into your business. One other thing to know with NGLCC, um, they also have a communities of uh, color initiative for minority owned businesses as well as a initiative for trans and non-binary uh, business owners as well. So there are different resources and the community to support those businesses. And there are also similar resources at your local LGBT teaching bird if you identify with any of those communities as well. We do have other resources available to members to grow their business and to invest into their employees. Um, we have access to a 401k program um, so uh, members are able to um, access this opportunity um, for their business. There are some requirements in place um, for this program. If you visit the resource center, you can find a guide with some information there, or you can contact Morgan Luby, whose inf information you can find here on this screen. Um, I, so just in case it's not on the next slide, um, we also have, uh, okay, sweet. So there's also, if we also have um, access to um, health insurance for companies as well. Um, so if your company is looking to provide insurance for you and your employees, there's also opportunities to invest into that. Both of these come with either some discounted costs um, and some additional resources. So definitely be sure to look into those. Um, again, there are some requirements in place, um, maybe in terms of employee size or years in business size. So be sure to reach out to either of these managers of these programs to get more in details. For those of you who are looking for additional resources to um, learn, grow, and to invest into your business, we can also help you with accessing information. Um, as a chamber, we normally host one workshop throughout the year to help folks invest into themselves. Um, so we talk about like LinkedIn, uh, marketing, um, risk, so HR and um, insurance. So uh, many different types of things to help you think about strategy for your business. Um, we also host programs for those folks who are certified throughout the year as well. Beyond those resources, we can also connect you to some of our partners. We are um, a recipient of, of grants from the City of Chicago Business Affairs Consumer Protection Program. And so they have resources available around business licensing. And so this link here provides links that you can click on if you have questions about business licensing, if you have questions about workshops that the City of Chicago is hosting, if you're looking for business counseling, or if you're looking to find a location to um, open up a new business, they also have resources to assist you there. In addition to BACP, we are also connect partners with SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, which is SCORE.org, which you can find online. Um, SCORE is a free resource for um, folks who are looking to um, find mentors. Um, you schedule one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, they talk to you through some of the challenges that you have, that you are having. Um, the great thing is that you can also identify mentors based on skill or industry. So people can help you um, with specific um, industries and you don't have to have the same mentor. You don't have to stick to the same mentor. So it's really flexible. There's also the Small Business Development Center, which can also be found online. Um, they have many resources that are free as well um, to help you get connected to data, different programs, loans as well. So um, be sure to reach out to that organization or contact us when you're facing challenges um, in growing your business. Um, throughout the year, you can invest in advertising. And so this just provides you with some information around what that looks like. Ads can include images, links, emails, and phone numbers um, with the opportunity to appear um, up to six times in our weekly newsletters. And you would contact Allie about this if you're interested in taking advantage of advertising. This page just provides you a quick overview of the different level of membership options. Um, silver is uh, the um, 
gateway into membership with our organization and provide you with access to the main core of benefits, which is the directory listing, the opportunity to add jobs, deals, and events to our website, and the invitation to not pay a fee for certification. Um, so you are still aware of all the events that we're hosting, and you can pick and choose when you want to be there with us. Uh, gold is our next level up, which is where I encourage all members to think about um, investing in. As you all likely know, we host at least one monthly mix and mingle every second, second Tuesday um, as a happy hour event. We encourage all members to attend this event and to make this their main event and their main point of networking with other members at the chamber. This is a great reference place to build relationships, to share referrals, to grow community with the chamber. Goal level provides you with access to that monthly networking event. Platinum and Rainbow provide uh, more engaged uh, networking and marketing opportunities uh, depending on the type of engagement you're hoping to get from the chamber. Um, throughout the year, these fees are prorated depending upon the time you join the chamber. All members are invoiced um, in November. Um, for the full um, rate um, based on where they are in current membership. At any time, if you ever want to change membership options, you can always reach out to the chamber to um, let us know and we'll help you through that process. Um, this document also provides you to links to uh, videos and PDFs to walk you through the process of adding events, updating your profile, adding jobs or paying bills um, that are outstanding for your account. Um, so I encourage everyone to, again, think about using the chamber. Um, one, as a great place to market your business. Um, the directory is a great place to uh, make sure that folks know about you as an LGBTQ owned business. There's a great way for folks to, util to utilize you when they're looking for specific products and services. Um, so always think about us in that way um, to also promote and market your own opportunities. So those events that you're having, um, those jobs and those deals, so specials that you're having, we can be great partners in promoting those for you. For those of you who have employees, we are also great partners to you in that way. Um, use our events as ways for your employees to get out, to network, to learn, and to be a part of a community where they can grow and to invest into themselves. And so um, leverage us in that way, as well as an opportunity to um, grow and network with your own clients. So bring clients to our events, uh, let them know that you're a part of a great community where they can also uh, grow and um, invest into their own business. Um, we do tend to have two signature events throughout the year. Uh, one is our annual boat cruise, which is normally every August. Uh, we normally have about 175 people plus on the boat out on Lake Michigan with us for about three hours of uh, buffet, open bar, um, and some quality networking. And then we tend to end the year with our annual gala, uh, where we come together to um, celebrate the year and to honor um, impactful members and corporate partners for their contributions um, to our organization and to the business community. So in addition to the mix and mingle, I encourage you to consider those two events as um, opportunities to get better leveraged with us. Um, so thank you so much for engaging in this uh, orientation. At any time, feel free to reach out to the chamber and we will answer any questions that you have. Thank you.